All right, Shen, the Pugilist. We should probably make sure we have the short axe after we, we run out of the Pugilist. Uh, or maybe we just resort to the Battle Axe and kill the Pylum Dude. The Pylum Dudes are one of the most scary ones, so let's get rid of those guys first. Most of the enemies coming this way are Lance users, though, so my warrior should be able to deal with them, but Geats is not great in this situation. Uh, this will not be a kill. Uh, I think the Burvel might be... No, actually, it will not. It will not. My bad. Alright, do we use the Artemis to deal with the Pegu? I think we do. Yeah. We need to find Save Haven for Geats, but really the most important part is that Raven survives, because, as again, this hack doesn't feature permanent, permadeath, but if Raven dies, it's a game over, so we still need to keep Raven. Like, that's the most important priority right now, so... Where will Raven hide? I think maybe keeping him in the forest is probably the best idea. We can probably use the Wing Clipper to get rid of this Pegasus Knight. But yeah, just keeping him in the forest I think is probably the best idea. I mean, if I, if I can bring him Pure Water, that'd be great. If only he had a ranged weapon, though. I should have brought him a Hand Axe or something. I guess I can give him the Short Axe? I mean, I still have the Pure Water, so what if I do this? I think maybe the Burvel is probably a better bet right now. And then we can bring Priscilla over here and heal Geats. Yeah, let's do that. We only need to survive for two more turns. We should be fine. But yeah, giving the short axe to Raven probably isn't a bad idea. He could probably use the Puji as well. I just feel like Shen... Oh my god, this... Oh my fucking god. Well... A survival chapter, it definitely does feel like one. I'll give it that. Nice! Good job, Shen! Holy shit, good job. He did say that he was going to die. I wonder if he's gonna die, like, story-wise as well. Guess we'll find out. Is okay, so is in a good position right now, because only one enemy can attack him. Well, I guess there's some flying units who can also attack him from the north, but... He will be able to, like, retaliate and shit. Oh, Lucius. Uh-oh. Doesn't look too good for Lucius right now. He's also away from Raven, which really, really reduces his survival. Uh, yeah, stupid of me to put him there. I should have put him next to Raven. This is looking bad! Uh oh, there goes Lucius. I hope that's not a game over. Lord Raymond, may your future be bathed in light. Permadeath, permadeath, permadeath. Game over, game over. Fuck! It's a game over. Shit! Piece of shit chapter. Oh my god. Uh, Alright. Guess I'll do the classic, play a couple turns, and I'll see you guys again soon. Fuck. Welcome back, I played up to turn 11, and this time around I just went balls to the wall south because I really wanted to find out what's in this village. Uh, so I just got Urk down here, he managed to dodge a couple lucky shots and he killed a ballista, which is kind of nice. Also, I love- lo look at his derp face. What the f- <laughs> Look at his- <laughs> What the fuck? I do. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so I'm just gonna go and uh, find out what's in this village. Even if it means sacrificing Eric, it doesn't really matter. Okay, oh, it's gonna be a playable character? It better be a playable character. So you wouldn't happen to be Travelers, eh? Seems like you got into Retrurians real mad. You must have finally found it. Yes, the last man to have claimed to find it was promptly executed. It only makes sense. You discovered the Fountain of Youth. Tell me, where is it? I must know the secret. What? Oh, I suppose I seem like a raving loon. I've been searching for the fountain for many years. Legends say it exists somewhere on these isles. But I guess I got all excited for nothing, right? Perhaps it's time I move on to the next adventure. Here, take the satchel. I happen upon this innocent-looking wallet on the ground. Seems like you need all the help you can get. Toodaloo! Really? 7,500 gold? That's what I get? Well, that's really, really... <laughs> I guess if you got heat, this village is a lot easier to reach, because you can fly down here and then fly up again, but still... I'm kind of disappointed. I hope that we get something out of that. Anyway, let's heal up Priscilla. So, I think what I will do right now is I will attack this Pylum guy with my Battle Axe. Or, what I also can do is I can try to kill this guy with my hammer. Yeah! So, Shen can die. Uh, Geats is being an absolute boss over here. Look at this guy. Look at this majestic looking fucker. Isn't he the best? Uh, I could do Actually, if I wanted to, I could use the Cleave Boat to kill this guy. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Um, Gitz is just being an absolute champ on this fort, tanking the shit out of everyone. Uh, he can die, but it honestly doesn't really matter all that much, because again, only only Priscilla, Lucius, and Raven need to be kept alive. Everyone else can die. Anyway, I'm actually going to heal Urk up, because 
you know, it would be nice to keep him alive. And this might make him survive another turn, which would be nice. Anyway, I'm gonna keep Raven within range of Lucius, but I, I think I'm probably gonna use the Pugilist to kill this mage. There we go. Yeah, giving the Puji to Raven was definitely the right choice. So yeah, Shen might die now, but you know what? He went out like a hero. Rip Shen. Oh, I forgot to read his death quote. I'm a monster. <laughs> probably said something about Lot. Rip green unit. Lucius is actually amazing on the fort. He really tanks well. Uh, because his avoidance is so fucking high. So I think if I just survive the next two turns, I should be fine. Oh, Geats, my man! Doing well, doing well. Wow, I think that's the guy with the wind sword. Yeah, I think so. A little bit worried about having Raven out in the open, but it doesn't seem like the enemy's interested in going for him at all, so... Ah, oh, never mind, except for that guy. What a clusterfuck. Priscilla might run out of her caliber tomes at this rate. Yep, and she did. I don't think she can defend herself now, unless I get Urk back now. Unless I still have the Arc Thunder on her, I guess we'll find out. Well, it looks like Urk survived. That means we can go check out the armory. But uh, Olden, he doesn't have much uh, space to shop for, though. That kind of sucks. Da -da -dum -da. Fuck you, physics staffs. There are so many of you. Why are there so many physics staffs here? And this guy will go for Urk. I could actually. You know what? Should I just run over to a card and attack him? That'd actually be hilarious. Alright, Geats heals up. That's good. And this is a good position. I mean, Raven's kind of out in the open, but I think he'll be fine. Now, I could, if I wanted to, I could equip the, uh... Oh, no, never mind. This guy has a short spare, great lance. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'm actually whipping forth my Steel Axe right now, because I want to I wanna kill these guys. Anyway, let's see what's in the armory. Wait, what? Oh, really, game? You gotta be fu- Nothing in the armory? Are you serious right now? Nothing at all. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try to attack a card, so I'm gonna run down here. The L fire. Will this be a kill? I think so. Yes, it will. Fine, I'm gonna try to kill- Oh wow, holy shit, an entire level? What a- Are these guys level 20 or something? That's pretty insane. Anyway, so I don't like Raven being out there in the open, but I'm at least going to kill this mage. Oh, he has a shaver, that's interesting. Uh, I might use Lucius to heal this turn. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Do I really want to attack this guy? Could crit. Did not crit. Fine. Yeah, I think I'll definitely heal. Ra oh, I should have uh, should have traded this. No, wait, I did trade his weapons around. I'm pretty sure I did. Hope I did. Oh, hi. What's going on? That guy has a vulnerary or a tonic. Yeah, they're all running for the forts now to get healing. Boom, boom. I think I traded the Pugilist over to him? I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Geats, no. Well, that guy has a sword. The other guys have lances, so they'll probably not hit him. Probably, probably. Ah, okay, he'll probably die. Though the other guys, they had like 20% hit drives. Okay, never mind. There we go. Ripping pepperonis, Geats. You did well. You did well, little geats. So now the other guys who were previous Lokopa. Oh, what? No, he definitely has the Pugilist, but I'm not liking that hand. Stop hitting Raven, please. I mean, Raven's pretty fucking tanky, but there's two Valkyries there. Although I think they'll mostly be physicsing this turn. Oh, that's a bolting uh, guy. Also, I killed the mini boss, by the way. I forgot to say that. Ah, uh, she didn't say anything. She just died. This map seems unfinished. This map seems very unfinished. Bosses without quotes and an armory that can't be visited. That's... that kind of seems unfinished to me. Not a big fan, but hey. Guess this hack isn't as finished as I thought it was. Anyway, we got... I think if we get Urk within range of the boss, that'd probably be kind of cool. So I'm gonna do that. 
Let's let's at least see if a card has a boss quote, right? Anyway, we gotta heal up Raven. Uh, he is gonna get attacked a lot this turn, I think. So maybe we should bring him somewhere safer. Although there really isn't much safer than outside the house, so. Or it, I, I meant close to his ally support range. There really isn't many other places that are safe, safer than that, so. Eh, let's just attack this guy. Why not? Arc Thunder weighs Priscilla down a little bit, but it's not like she has anything else to use, right? Bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. I really like this enemy face music. It's actually one of my favorite enemy face musics in the game. A card better have a fucking boss quote, or if not, I'm getting mad. <laughs> Urk's actually doing great work behind enemy lines right here. He just needs a little bit of terrain to hide behind, and he's he's set. Here comes the Pegasus Knights! I think that now. Raven has one use of the Pooji left. Oh no, the Pooji's gonna break! No! Oh, that's a generic female sniper, I think. Yep. I do like the fact that this hack features ge uh, f generic females. That's always nice to see. Bum, bum. I'm actually not sure if Urk can get in range of the boss right now, because I think too many enemies are blocking his path. He might still be able to hit a card with the bolting, though, so I can still check his enemy quote if he has one. No, I definitely... Ah, they're, no, they're definitely blocking now. I can't get, I can't attack a card in melee now. Bum bum bum. Ram bum bum bum. Alright, so we're gonna get absolutely surged this turn. I only hope that Raven can survive it. Uh, I gotta check the enemy types and see what kind. Actually, Raven can only wield swords, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but maybe he can, like, go to the southern part? We got two Great Lances. That's not great. Uh, even with the Wing Clipper. Actually, the Wing Clipper... Wow, these guys have shitty hit rates. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. I guess we should probably swap to a better... Eh, the Burval is probably good. The Artemis is probably also good here. Let's just pray that Raven will be alright. I know the General has a bow, so he's not a super big threat. Alright, so this is the last turn, so I'm gonna just put uh, Raven on here. Or, sorry, Urk on here. I'm just gonna... Slap a bolting in your face, see if you have a boss quote. Nope, no boss quote. Again, unfinished map. I don't even think anything happens if you kill him. If they didn't bother to program him a boss quote for a card, I can't imagine they programmed him a death quote. That's just how I see it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we just need these three not to die, and we should be fine. Urk is definitely gonna die, because he's equipped a bolting, but I wanted to check if a card said something. Dun, 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 dun. Good job, Raven. I do wonder if there's a part three to this. It seems like the story isn't quite resolved yet, so I wouldn't be surprised if there is a part three. Though, I must say that aside from the bull- oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I just knocked my fidget spinner into my microphone. Aside from the fact that uh, this map is rather tedious, it's still not a horribly designed map. It just has a lot of room for improvement. The bullshit spawns should go for sure. Uh, the village should have better, uh, better rewards. A card should have a boss quote and a death quote. Um, yeah, if, if it weren't for the ambush spawns, to be fair, this map would have been a lot better. I definitely see how it's how you're supposed to just. I mean, I'm definitely doing the wrong thing by by advancing like this. It's not like I know the village is there to in incentivize you to move forward, though. I think that 7,500 gold is a shitty reward. Like gold isn't that important when there's not that many chapters that are intertwined like that. You should get something good, like a like a stat booster or something. Though again, I will just repeat what I said. Oh wow. Pegasus Knights with, with staves, that's cool. I did not notice that that Pegasus Knight had a staff, actually. Yeah, it seems like we will survive here. Chances of survival seems pretty okay. So what will happen, though? 
Lo Lord Accard, where are the prisoners? They're putting up quite the fight, sire. Just who are these wretches? It's absurd, it's inhuman. To outlast legions of my finest soldiers, a threat so grave cannot be left standing. I want those heathens obliterated, understand? Yes, Lord Accard. Bring out the ballista. I want every soldier fielded. I'll not let these criminals make a mockery of my might. Capture the leader. I want to cleave his head myself. Right away, my lord. What the hell? Shit. Lord Raymond. Priscilla, Lucius. I'm sorry. Brother. We've been fighting as hard as we can. There's still no end in sight, dammit. I led our soul to the grave. Perhaps the best option is to surrender? Lucius. Oh, what? Okay, I'm gonna have to make a safe state here. Try both, try both alternatives. Okay, let's try not to surrender. No, we've come too far just to lay down like dogs. If this truly is to be my end, then so be it. Fight to the last breath, never say die. Okay, so that just ends with Raven. Really? Okay. Uh, but that doesn't seem very likely though, so let's try to surrender and see what happens. Halt! Come for a taste of spear tip, have you? Don't worry, filthy dog, we have plenty. Drop your weapon, eh? Tell me, are you the leader of this rabble? I am. Luckily for you, a card wants an interrogation. Come peacefully and your companions might survive. Raymond! I've already dropped my damn sword, take me! Right, put him in chains. Make sure he's already been warmed up for a card. Wow, is he gonna rape him or something? <laughs> no! And put the rest of his companions in the dungeon. Okay. Interesting. Lord Accard, we brought the survivors here. Bring one of them before me, as you wish. Oh wow, he's been roughed up. Uh, speak, dog. Who hired you? What do you know? I have no idea what you're talking about. Why did you target said? How did you know that he worked for me? How much do you know? You're insane. So into secrecy, eh? If you tell me what I wish to know, I might find enough pity in my heart to spare you. What will it be? I sought said of my own accord. You expect me to believe this nonsense? Fine. If you won't speak, then I'll kill you here. Your final words? Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> well? I've lived my life in pursuit of revenge. Blind, angry, bitter. Accomplished my goal and still unsatisfied. I sought so long to begin life anew. But I could never put my bitter past behind me. I'm fitting that I should die this way. Is that it? Do your worst. Don't worry, I intend to. Holy shit, he just killed him. No! Lord Raymond! Well, well, two more survivors. Who wishes to join him first? Lord Accard. You'll go no further. Erk! Hmm? Don't meddle in my affairs, worm. Do you know who this woman is? You would execute the daughter of Count Car Carleon? This wench is Carleon's daughter? Bah! I won't allow you to lay a finger on her. Or her friend, a monk of the Elamine Church. Have you no shame? Step aside. You're only Pence, little whipping boy. I am the commander of the Western Occupation Force. Lay a hand on them, and I'll ensure that your time in this world is made quite short. Traitor! Bah! Take them and get out of my sight. Return to your master. Purr at his feet. I'll not let the likes of Pen derail my rule. Lady Priscilla, are you alright? Somehow I think that Urk would be part of the story even if Heath wasn't here. My, my brother! If only I could have gotten her sooner. My deepest apologies, Priscilla, truly. Don't apologize, Urk, I understand. I just wish that Raymond... Ah! What will you do now? Raymond was our guiding force. Without him, we've nowhere else to go. Come on, you can live your own lives without Mac Edgelord. Raymond. Yes, you've been through an incredible hardship. It seems I've just been discharged, so I'll be returning to Etruria. The two of you are more than welcome to join me. What of Geats? Did he manage to survive? No sign of him, I'm afraid. Neither dead or alive. I see. I want to do whatever I can to be of assistance. I'm certain that Count Carleon would be overjoyed to see you again, Priscilla. You have a home with him, and in Regle as well. Lucius, as you ponder your next steps, I'm certain that Father Yoder could find a place for you. Thank you, Urk, truly. Let us depart these bloodstained halls. Before we go, we must give Raymond a proper funeral. There are farewells to be said. I do believe. Of course, do as you must. 
All right, so the story actually ends with Raven dying. That's uh, that's ambitious for a fan-made hack. That's a uh, that's quite a steep step to take. There, a proper tomb. Santa uh, Elamine, please see our departed friends to safety. Allow them to rest forever in your loving embrace. Raymond, your life was so filled with struggle and hardship. I hope at last you find peace and eternal slumber. Oh, there's Geats, by the way. Brother, I will never forget you. I shall weep for you every morning. Raven. <laughs> I love how nobody comments on this. Like, uh, Geats is lost, but it suddenly just pops up and everyone's just, okay. Raven would have yelled at you for crying like that. In the end, he gave his life in the hope that he might just save us all. So now we must live to honor his sacrifice. Yes. Yes, he shall. Actually, Raven... <laughs> Wow, Rip Raymond. <laughs> I don't know why I find this picture so funny. Uh, I guess I'm spoiling a good moment here. Hmm. What? Huh? What the? What? What? What, what, what the fuck is this? Died at Cog of Destiny? Is this truly the best I could do? Uh... That's a weird ending. Again, hack, this hack isn't as, um, <laughs> isn't as finished as I thought it was. Alright, so I guess, um, I'm kind of tempted to replay it and see what happens if you try not to surrender, but I, I assume Raven dies regardless, really. Um, I know that a card can't die because he's in Fire Emblem 6, so they, they, like, that's the problem when you write a fan hack like this and you include bosses from, uh, from, a, like, a later game, is that... You know that they can never really die because that makes no sense. Like the hack can't really alter the fate of characters that whose fates have yet to be altered in the future game. If that makes sense, yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, that was um an interesting story to say the least. Raven's a big ed edge lord, but that's fine because he's like that in the main game. I don't really fault the writers. They sure wrote him a lot. I feel like they wrote him extra edgy for the story, though. Like, they, they definitely tuned up his edginess a bit. Not that I mind that, but it was almost got a little bit too much at times. Yeah. Again, I'm going to make my final video where I talk about all the maps. I'm not going to go too too much in detail here, but I liked the story for all it was worth. It was a cute little story. Kind of sad how Raven died, though. Um, but, yeah, yeah. You know, I guess, what, do you, what can you say? Nothing personnel, kid. Anyway, guys. Leave a like and a comment on this video, it really helps out the channel a lot. As always, my name is Minx, and I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye. So, of course, I had to check out what happened if you chose not to surrender, and uh, I did hold out for quite a long time. Uh, so what happens is that enemies are just gonna keep spawning. You no longer get a game over if you lose units. At this point, everyone can die, and you can keep playing. The only exception is that if Priscilla is captured, she gets, like, a capture dialogue, like, you're coming with us, and she goes like, no! Um, but you can hold out for a pretty long time, but the same reinforcements keep spawning over and over. In particular, you're going to get beset by Purge Valkyries that are just slowly going to whittle down your warriors. And even though, like, Raven is almost untouchable and can pretty much kill as many units as he likes, you are eventually going to run out of weapons and the enemies are going to wear you down. I... it's the same set of reinforcements that spawn, like, every two turns, every two to three turns, so there doesn't seem to be any change whatsoever. This is merely to grind you down and to basically give you... give you a sense of fighting to the very last man, which is definitely something that I can, uh, that I can appreciate. However... Uh, I was able to survive until turn 24, and I could probably survive for, for quite a bit longer, actually. Uh, but then something happened, and I would like to show it to you guys, and it's kind of cool, actually. So, of course, they also spawn with physics, Dave, so they, they infinitely heal each other. But, if you uh, survive until turn 24, you get an achievement unlocked. Never say die. So that's uh, that's kind of a neat little thing. However, these reinforcements will keep spawning at this point. Um, maybe there is something will happen if you survive until like turn 50 or something, but honestly, I, I couldn't be bothered to check it out. Okay, so I am now on turn 33 <laughs> and Raven still hasn't died. Uh, they just can't hit Lucius when he's next to Raven. Uh, he has 97 avoid, but Lucius has run out of weapons now, and Raven is also slowly starting to die as well. So yeah, this is kind of hilarious. I mean, eventually he will get whittled down, I suppose, because yes, you can see these enemies will not sp stop spawning. But yeah, I'm just gonna end turn until until 
I die, so yeah, be right back. And finally, Raven goes down on turn 45. But now, I actually don't think they'll be able to kill Lucius, because, well, he might be hittable now that Raven's gone, so... Yeah, I guess we'll be right back as soon as Lucius dies. And there we go, Lucius goes down. So, once this happens, uh, you don't, sadly, don't get a special ending. Uh, you get the standard ending with uh, Raven being killed by a card. So, but you get an achievement out of it, which is kind of funny, and then you get this bug little ending right here. Died at sense of time. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the alternate ending and the achievement.